Hello, boys and girls. My name is Marisa, and this is my friend Fanny, and today we are going to be doing a lesson called Five Little Speckled Frogs. The first thing we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to learn a breathing strategy, and Fanny here is going to help me with it. She was very excited to help when she found out today's lesson was about frogs. So here we go. This breathing strategy is called STAR. STAR stands for smile, take a deep breath, and relax. So here we go. Are you ready, Fanny? Okay, here we go. Ready? Good. Again. Good. One more time. Great. Do you feel better, Fanny? Good. We're ready to get started. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to play a game. You're going to try to guess to see what's happening with the frogs that are on the table. So let's start. Let's observe. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five frogs. Okay, let's see what happens. <gasps> Can you tell what happened? Yes, you're right. There's one less. Let's count them and see how many are left. One two, three, four. There's only four left. Okay, are you ready? We're going to do that one more time. <gasps> what happened now? Yes, there's one less again. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. There's three left. When we take one away and separate the group, we call that subtraction. So today's song, Five Little Speckled Frogs, is about subtraction. Are we ready? Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four little speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three little speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two little speckled frogs. Two little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one little speckled frog. One little speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no little speckled frogs. Yay! Good job, Fanny. What we're going to do now is we're going to sing parts of the song. And as we sing, we're going to be removing the frogs. And I'm going to write a math equation that corresponds to the to what's there on the log. So let's start. Five little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four little speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three little speckled frogs. <gasps> Do you see what's happening? It looks like there's a pattern happening. Every time we sing the song, we have one less frog. So let's see. And then we have three still on there. So we had one and two gone. Now we have three left. So let's see if we can write a math equation for that. Are you ready? That is subtraction. So we're going to use the subtraction symbol in the middle. We're going to start with this with three and let's see what happens after that. Ready? Three little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. 
One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two little speckled frogs. So let's see what happened. We had three frogs to start. So I'm gonna write that number, three. And then he jumped into the pool. So we took him away, so we subtracted. So we're gonna write that symbol here. And how many jumped into the pool? One, you're right. And that is how many we have left. So it's equal to, how many are left, boys and girls? Right, there are two left. So three minus one equals two. That would be the equation for that. So now let's see if we could do it one more time. Are you ready? Two little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one little speckled frog. Okay, let's try to see if we can write that sentence. Ready? We started with two. So we're gonna write that number first. And we subtracted, so this is the symbol we use for subtraction. And how many did we subtract? Right, we subtracted one. So we're gonna write that number right here equals how many are left? Right, there's only one left, so we'll write that number there. Very good. Let's finish the song. Ready? One little speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where he, it was nice and cool. Now there are no little speckled frogs. They're gone. Very good. Thank you, boys and girls. Good job. Today we learned about subtraction using frogs in the song Five Little Speckled Frogs. You can do this at home as well using cereal or any other kind of snack you may have. Then you can make your own subtraction problems with your family. I hope you have fun doing this. Thank you for joining me. Bye.